Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this makeup look for you guys. It's something a little bit different, a little bit more out of my element, but I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, you know, it's about 8 o'clock at night right now. Woo, fun! And, um, you know, who doesn't like to play with makeup at 8 o'clock at night, right? So I'm going to be using my favorite palette in the whole entire world, the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's one of my favorites. If you haven't seen my review of my best friend Jess, definitely go and check it out. I'm going to have a link down in the subscription box and like probably a little eye thing on my jiggy over here. Um, so if you want to go and check it out, definitely check it out after you watch this video. So this palette is just absolutely amazing. It has all these amazing colors and I was inspired so much by it and I was almost getting too inspired because I just was go my mind was going in so many different directions. So I was like, let's head to Pinterest. I headed to Pinterest, saw this look from the beautiful Mel Ray Siegel, and she's a YouTuber as well. Her look is absolutely amazing, and I wanted to recreate it, so I recreated it, and I'm so excited. I kind of did like a little bit of my own twist to it. I saw the look, and I was just like, oh, I know exactly what colors I want to like use from this. So I don't know how much are like all the same or whatnot, but this is kind of like my little twist on it. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, and thumbs up if you want more tutorials, and share off your friends as well, as always you know um, head over to all my social media links it's all at Elizabeth Hope I made it really easy for you guys so you can guys can go and find me you know it's just real easy yeah so if you guys want to learn how to get this look then just keep on watching first thing I'm gonna be using is the Too Faced hangover primer I love this stuff I'm almost actually done with it unfortunately keeps my face nice and hydrated because my skin gets very dry and you really only need one pump like one pump, it looks small, that's really all you need. So I'm also going to be using some stuff from my Ipsy Glam bag. It's called Over Easy. This is the theme for the uh, month of July. Got some really good stuff. I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm going to be using it all in the video. Next thing I'm going to be doing is concealing my eyes with some NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. So it's always good to get like a peachy concealer for underneath your eyes to cancel any like blues that you have underneath your eye. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. It's my favorite foundation ever. Like I've been using this for so so long. It's great. This gives you a really nice flawless finish and I love it. I've been using it for years. Alright, whenever you have left, you always want to make sure you bring it down to your neck because you do not want your neck and your face to not match. <laughs> uh, that would be really, really bad. Next, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the color Light Neutral. I really love this so, so much. I think it gives such a natural finish. I'm using my Real Techniques sponge. So today I'm going to be doing something a tad bit different. I'm going to be contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Cream Contour Kit. So let's see if this will, this will do anything for me. I'm also going to do down my nose. I always doubt cream contours. I don't know. Just me. You definitely need more of like a kabuki kind of denser brush to blend these into as well. Ooh, man. My arm hurts. Is contouring like a sport? Like, I swear. Alright, sorry guys. I don't think that just filmed, but I just set my under eyes with powder and then I set my contour as well. And then this is just going to help define that contour line. So, so it'll be nice and good, you know. I'm going to be using the MAC Bronzer in Delight. This is the Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzer Powder. And this is from one of their collections. I forget what the collection name is. I'm sorry. But I used to be so on top of these things. Um, but how I'm not. Uh, but I will be soon. It's just going to give me some more bronze. And some more contour. Mm -hmm. Bam. What? Alright. So I'm going to keep on this underneath here. I'm going to zoom you in. Oh my god, wait a minute. Girl, you did not do your eyebrows. I need to do my eyebrows. Oh my god. How did I forget this? How in the world did I forget this? This is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe 
eyebrow cream. So on this side is the brush. Very, very cool. So all you have to do is just dip it in. And since I do like my eyebrow shape, and I don't like to make them bigger or smaller or anything like that, um, I usually just like to fill in like the sprouseness of my eyebrows. And my eyebrows are kind of light to me compared to like my roots and stuff, so I like to just darken them up a little bit. This is exactly what this does. Alrighty, so we are going to be using, ha, ah, my baby, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Alright, so first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish Eye Under Hydrating Under Eye Primer. <laughs> now this came in like a little set, so that's why it's so tiny, but a little goes a long way with this. I'm going to have this forever, forever. Why did I put this on my eye? So first color I'm going to be taking from this palette is called Butter. It's all the way over here right next to the yellow. And this is going to be our transition color. And I'm going to be putting that right into my crease. So this is like the perfect transition color. I love it so, so much. And it goes on just like butter. <laughs> it really, really does. And I'm also taking a Morphe uh, 433 brush for that. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Hunts, which is this one right here. Very, very pretty. And I'm going to be putting that also into my crease, but a little bit more focused. So I'm going to be taking Hunts, and I'm going to be putting that right into my crease as well. I'll put a little bit more focused. And lightly going into my inner corner and kind of bringing it a little bit more pigmented on the outer corner. So next I'm going to be taking the color Chip, which is this one right here, it's in the corner over here. And I'm also going to be using this brush once again. This one's the Morphe uh, 506 brush, it's really great for pre precision. And um, all you have to do really is, if you have like a different color, see like look at that was blue, that was on this one before. And I just kind of like swooshed it off um, on my wrist, um, you just, so you can get the color off, it's easier. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of thought and put that right into my corner. So now I'm going to be taking a MAC Holiday brush. This one's actually the uh, 239 SE, so it's it's literally from a holiday collection. It's pink, of course. I'm going to be taking the color Royalty, which is the deep purple right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I am absolutely in love with this color. This is going to be our base color for our halo. So inner corner outer corner and then I also sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus on it which helped make it more vibrant which is always good. I'm using the Inglot brush it is 29PO. I really love this brush for eyeshadows especially when packing on eyeshadows and stuff like that. It's amazing. Okay I'm gonna be using two different colors because I just feel like being extra like that. I'm being using the color Obsessed and I'm going to be using the color beam which are these two colors right here this one right here is obsessed this one's called beam I'm gonna be using beam first as kind of like a base I'm be spraying that with fix plus and putting that right in the middle for our halo and then I'm going to go in with obsessed because I'm obsessed with obsessed and this is going to give it that, oh yeah, that nice champagne-y, browny, taupey kind of all around, I don't even know what, just amazing color. And then I'm going to take my little MAC blending brush again. Okay, so it's all about going back and forth, back and forth with the color and just making it, you know, look seamless and amazing and all that jazz. Now I'm going to be taking away the powder that I had underneath my eyes. We're going to be using Jada and Pool Party, the, these two end colors, these two blues, which are just so, so gorgeous. My favorite thing ever. I'm going to take the color in light, which is like the first color on the palette. I'm just going to tap that right into here. I'm going to take the Morphe M 326 brush which is this little tiny brush right here it's so so cute and I'm going to be taking obsessed and just putting that right into my corner now I'm going to be taking my eyeliner which is the eco London skinny liquid eyeliner and then this one's really cute because 
It is travel size. I got this one in my Ipsy bag and I used it yesterday and I really, really like it. So I'm going to be using it again. And let's see if I can do this on camera. This is going to be an adventure. did that on camera so what I've, I, don't, I probably have this like right in front so I can't even see but I did it I did it well one's going one way and one's going the other way but you know what eyeliner is supposed to be sisters now I'm going to go in with some fake lashes decorate this up and I will be right with you guys once again all right hold on one second now I have my lashes on yeah okay so this is my last makeup product from my Ipsy bag. This was just the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I actually used before I put my lashes on. And I'm wearing the Ardell Glamour Lashes, which are very pretty. They're just, they give you a nice wispy look. I, I don't know, I just really like them. Okay, so I also just put a little bit of blush on. I used this little tiny, a little, little, little baby, uh, Love Hangover by Too Faced. It's so cute. It's in the shape of a heart. It's a mini from their um, uh, holiday collection, which is really cute. Cannot forget my highlight. I'm using the Morphe M501 brush. I really, really like this brush for highlight. And I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Eclipse with Mari Amue, of course. And I'm going to be putting that right on. The only thing I'm beginning is some Fix Plus. Oh, perfect. All right, guys. Woo! This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want some more tutorials like this one, a little bit more crazier, definitely let me know. Um, I'm definitely willing to do more tutorials like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!